Hi there, uh, it's me, Andre from psdbox.com. I'm here on my YouTube channel, and uh, you've, you've probably seen that I changed my design. Top design is different. And also, uh, I basically changed my background and included some links here, which you can, uh, which will take you straight to my website if you want to, if you want to go to some of these sections. And I also have here some uh, social icons. You can also see the Vmail icon because now I also upload my videos to Vimeo. Some people uh, told me that they, they don't have access to YouTube because in some countries YouTube is not is not working or they don't have access to it, I don't know. So I upload uh, the videos there as well. Uh, at the moment I only have a few of them. You can see them here, um, just uh, four or five videos, uh, but uh, you can uh, you can watch them and I'll I'm continuously uploading there as well. Let's go to Photoshop because this is a tutorial and uh, I just wanted to show that the, that new design but uh, what I really wanted to show is this uh, tutorial. I just wanted to show you how you can speed up your selections. If you follow my tutorials you will probably know that I mentioned over and over again that I use the pen tool to make selections. So I usually select the pen tool, set this to path, draw a path around an object, turn that path into a selection and then extract the object. And I said that I use the pen tool because it's the most accurate tool to make selections, you get perfect edges and all that. But I kind of changed my mind after trying the magnetic lasso tool. So if you want to speed up your selections, but if you don't want to use the magic wand tool, because the magic wand tool is quick but the edges are really rubbish. I don't, I don't really like that tool how it works. So I usually select and use the magic lasso tool. It's a lot quicker than the pen tool, uh, a bit slower than the quick selection tool, but the edges are as good as on the pen tool. So let me show you how how you can work with this tool. You just have three options here. Uh, one is the width. Uh, let me press the the caps lock key if you want to change uh, if you want to switch uh, the the um, the aspect of the cursor you can see that diameter there if you, if you increase it it becomes bigger that circle uh, i usually leave it to like uh, 10 or 20 depending on the size of your image let's leave it to 12 for this one you don't need a big uh, circle because you don't have to paint anything what you do is just uh, click on an area well let's go with the contrast this is the contrast uh, sensitivity, so this tool detects the difference in contrast and here you can set the sensitivity. And uh, this is the frequency because uh, if you click and drag you'll see that some points uh, will be added. So the higher the frequency, the higher the number of, um, of points here you'll get on your selection. I'll set the width to 10 and just uh, I'll show you how this tool works. Uh, what you do is, uh, let's say I want to extract uh, this car from the background. I'll start here and I'll click here on the edge and just follow along the edge like that. And you can see that the, the tool detects the contrast change. And if, it, if Photoshop does not add that um, point, you can click and add it yourself. That's why I usually use a high, a high frequency value. In some places uh, this tool is not perfect either, but uh, it usually does a really good job. So you can see how quick I, I'm painting here. You just have to go with this uh, circle to have um, the edge on the middle of the circle and just uh, paint along. You don't have to be too precise because the tool will detect the contrast change and it will adjust that path for you. Obviously this is a smooth uh, edge, as you can see here, it's not adjusting that really well, but you can fix that with the brush tool later. Or using the refine edge. But you will see how sharp the, the edges are compared to the, to the quick selection tool. I'll show you, I'll, I'll make a quick comparison. I'll go uh, just a quick, uh, quickly on these areas. I think you already got the point. You just follow the edge and you can see how that path sticks to the edge. If you want to move the image, press and hold the spacebar, click and drag. Uh, obviously I, I did a really bad job there, I didn't press the spacebar. I will fix that. Oh well, you can fix that. 
you can see how quick you can paint along the edges. Right now I'm doing this really quick but I would uh, go a bit slower and take care of the edges really. I forgot to press the space bar again and click there to close the selection and once your selection is closed uh, you can click the layer mask icon and you just uh, created the mask and you extracted the car and let's zoom in and see the edges I'll create a new layer underneath it and fill it with a solid color so you can see the so you can see the edges better I'm zoomed in at 400% and you can see how sharp the edges are. So this tool is a lot more, is a lot more accurate than, uh, than the quick selection tool and I'll just uh, make a, a quick demonstration. I'll delete the layer mask, select the car using the quick selection tool. So the quick selection tool is quick, but I don't really like the edges. And I'll extract this part, pressing the Alt key to subtract the selection. Uh, you can see that in places like this one, the edges are really not that good. At least I don't like them, I want them to be a lot sharper. So you'll, you will be forced to use the Refine Edge tool. So uh, if you want a quick uh, way to select objects, remember to uh, consider the Magic Lasso tool. It's, uh, it's a lot quicker than the Pen tool. And well, uh, thank you for watching, that's all for today. See you next time.